Hey streamers, welcome to our YouTube channel. So WP Stream is a video streaming plugin that you can use to create live streaming um, events or video on demand. So you can record your live streams, create video on demand, and you can also sell those videos with pay-per-view or subscription types of payments. And all you need is a WordPress website and the WP Stream plugin installed. So let's get started by going to plugins and then add new on your WordPress admin. And here you will type WP Stream. You will have to install and activate it on your WordPress. And then you can go right ahead and start creating channels. So you will have to keep in mind that if you want to sell your content, you need both WP Stream and WooCommerce. So WooCommerce is an e-commerce toolkit that helps you sell anything, as it says right over here. So if you're planning to do that, make sure you get WooCommerce. If you're creating free live streams or video on demand, you just need WP Stream. So let's go to WP Stream cred credentials where you can type in your username or email and your password if you already have an account or click here to create a new one. So let's get started by clicking on get started, add your email, a password, confirm, and then you can register. As simple as that, it takes you to your WP Stream dashboard where you'll find your free trial package. So you have 0.5 gigabytes um, of streaming data and 0.10 gigabytes of storage. You can also send a confirmation link and confirm your email address to receive an extra five gigabytes of streaming data. So you receive this email and click on the link. And once you've clicked on the link, you'll see that you now have 5.5 gigabytes of streaming data that you can use freely. So you don't need to add a credit card if you don't plan to continue on. So let's go back and type in your email and password and save changes. Now that we have connected to WP Stream, we can go ahead and start creating our live stream. So go to channels and here you can either create a free channel or a pay-per-view channel. But for now, I'm just creating a free channel since this is a beginner's tutorial, but you can check out one of our other videos on pay-per-view or subscription um, tutorials, how to do that as well. So once you've entered all these details, you can set a featured image as well. You can publish your channel. Once published, let's click on settings and check them out. So you can also record your live stream. You can display or not display your viewer account, lock to website, autoplay, start muted, or encrypt your live stream. I'm going to record this live stream and I'll show you in the next video how you can create a video on demand from this live stream. So go ahead and start your live event. And once it's ready to go live, you have two options. So either to go live from the browser or with an external broadcaster. So with an external broadcaster, you'll be using something like OBS Studio or Wirecast or any other app that you can use um, RTMP. But to make it as simple as possible, I'm going live from the browser. And this is the browser that shows up. You can choose your camera, your microphone, your bitrate, your resolution. And once you're happy with all these settings, you can go ahead and click on Start Broadcast. And now you can view your live stream by going back and clicking on view channel. And here is your live stream. So this is how your viewers will view your live stream. You'll see the viewer count on the top left corner. You can go full screen or your viewers can go full screen. They can get the full experience of your broadcast. And alternatively, they can also go picture in picture. Um, and picture in picture is basically a way to move the screen around. So it just becomes smaller like this. And you can move this around and you can go through different tabs as well. So your viewers can do other things and still enjoy your live stream as well. So once you're done with your broadcast, you can go ahead, go back to the browser broadcaster and click on stop broadcast. And if you go back, you will see that your live stream would have stopped and this message will appear. And that's how you know your live stream is over. And that is basically how you can go live on your WordPress website in the easiest way possible in just about four minutes. And in the next video, make sure you stay tuned as I'm going to be showing you how I take that recording and create a video on demand from it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and looking forward to seeing you once again. Bye.